Jen here and we are building February's kit for how to kill a kit with style. We are doing themes this year so every month has a different theme and you can kind of run with it however you feel it works best for you. So you could take the theme literally, you could uh, just you know pick a certain aspect of the theme and kind of run with that. It's totally up to you how you want to interpret it. This month's theme is vintage. Um, so I did a live with Wild Whisper on February 1st where I pulled out some of their vintage papers. I'm gonna call them vintage because uh, some of these papers are from 2017 and some of their very first collections that they ever released. They aren't classically vintage, but they are vintage to me, vintage in my stash. And so that's kind of what I'm going for. But you could uh, use vintage styled papers, even if they're newer collections, uh, vintage colors. You could create page kits or build your kit around using vintage photos maybe, whatever works for you. I just don't have a lot of vintage styled um, papers and ephemera and stuff like that and so I will pull some stuff out but I think a lot of what I'm gonna focus on is vintage in my own stash. So some of my oldest um, stash. That's how we're kind of going. So. So on that live, I made these three page kits. I've got one here that's all kind of gray scale, grays, whites, blacks, a little pop of blue from some of these labels, but everything here is just um, in this sort of monochromatic white and black. So that is one kit. And then I also have this page kit that I did with a black and white background and then a bunch of teals. There's a couple little pops of yellow in here, but it's mostly working with the teals. I even added the, um, this is called Ocean of Teal um, sequins. I threw that in there because it works. And so that's sort of one page kit. I just put papers together. I didn't put any ephemera or anything. Um, so that is already kind of built. And then this one is really kind of different for me. There's a lot of different colors. There are a lot of different collections represented in here, going all the way back to 2017 with one piece of paper here, this one, um, which is from 2022. So this one's a very kind of eclectic mix of Wild Whisper stuff, but most of these pieces, these elements are 2017, 2018. Um, maybe this one I think might be 2019. So still to me, vintagey Wild Whisper stuff. So that's what I have on my desk here and kind of my jumping off point. And then I'll show you what I have in my container. So we went through this container and pulled everything out. I've kept these two pieces in here. I was gonna put them away, just put them back into where I keep um, this kind of cardstock. But I think these work as backgrounds and if I do wanna do something that is maybe a little bit more on the vintage side with a vin the vintage feel rather than just older collections, this is sort of creams and it's off you know, off-white, the burlap. It could work. Same with this one. So I figured I would actually go ahead and just leave it in here. Um, I also kept this piece of paper, which I didn't use. I kept this one, which I didn't use. I felt like the kind of salmony coral and then this mint and the beige kind of works for vintage. I definitely kept this Christmas page that I didn't get used up from Bow Bunny. It to me has a very kind of vintage feel to it, so I thought I'd leave that in there. A couple more of the Christmas stuff, the vintage truck. So these are all kits. This is all kits you've seen before that I put together for January. I left some of the elements that I am trying to get used up, so mostly these foam um, words and phrases. I did leave this sticker, or sorry, sticker, these are stamps. I did leave these stamps in here because there are some 
like the mom life specifically the hashtag mom life that I really want to get used up and there could be a couple other ones that I can kind of use here and there um, and get used up and I did tell myself that I was absolutely going to use this in January and then I didn't because I didn't really do a a coffee layout that was kind of like mom fuel um, so I'm gonna leave it in there this sticker set I thought has a bit of a vintage flair to it with some of the florals and stuff so maybe I can build a page kit around it maybe not but I just left it in there as well uh, these little tags as well so just a few bits and pieces these are pictures they can come out now I just wanted to have those in there to kind of remind myself to go through them and then what I also put in here that I sort of touched on a little bit in the live, but not really. I have this piece of paper from Wild Whimsy and this one photo. The Wild Whimsy collection is from 2018, so pretty early days. Um, I have this paper that I've just been holding on to with the photo uh, kind of kept together with the paper. And when I was going through my stash... Um, in the live I came across this I pulled it out and I want to make a page kit for this I might wait until build a page comes along and actually go through building a page with this particular kit I don't know but I have it pulled out because to me this is vintage wild whisper this is also kind of vintage family because this vacation is from 2017 so um, yeah I pulled that out to keep in the kit and eventually build a page around it. Um, what else? Oh yes, I also have my Christmas stuff. I don't know if I'm showing that to you, but I also have my Christmas stuff for my December daily. And I have to admit, this to me definitely has vintage vibes with the mints and teals and the pinks and kind of the salmon color and just some of the, the images and the type um, typography and stuff like that so I think this works well in my kit but it's it's gonna stay out till my December daily is finished so it's always part of the kit but it just happens to work for this month's theme as well uh, so that actually gets tucked right in here so that will stay there um, and yeah let's fill the rest of this up so I'm gonna put these three pages in here pop them in and then I feel like because it's February I'm gonna kind of go with a little bit of a cliche maybe and pull out some of my Valentine's-y stuff too the main reason for that is because some of this stuff is really old has and has been in my stash for a really long time um, and also, for whatever reason, this seems to be some of my more kind of vintage styled uh, collections too. So this one, if I can find a date on it, is from 2011. This is uh, from Yours Truly from Echo Park. It was designed by Cassandra Cooper. It's kind of vintage a little bit. It's got some grays and the pinks and these sort of pinked and scalloped little hearts the exos this side is sort of this damask black and white print but it's from 2011 so i'm gonna call that good um this whole collection is a simple stories collection what did they call it the hugs and kisses collection it has sort of a vintagey vibe too again because i feel like the the blues are what really make it vintagey and this sort of salmony color um, so it could work I think it's got an old timey kind of bike and the key and that kind of thing so maybe I'll go ahead and pop this in as well for a little bit of embellishment this collection is called crush let me see if it has a date on it it's from 2015 so it's definitely old but is it vintage I might leave this just to the side for a second and see what else I can find. So this is the whole Hugs and Kisses collection. I don't have the whole thing, but I do have some of it. And you can see, I just feel like some of this scroll work and stuff, like this to me maybe isn't as vintage. Even though it is Polaroids, I don't feel like 
it's necessarily screaming vintage, um, but some of this stuff does a little bit. This definitely does. Actually, this is not, hold on, I've got two pieces here. Haha, -ha, there we go. Okay, this has this for a back. This is kind of vintage to me, the kissing booth maybe. So, okay, I think, I think yes, this could work for vintage. Tell me if you think I'm completely off base, but I feel like maybe this is the right direction. How much of this do I actually have here? I think it's just here, okay. So this is the same as this. Yeah, it's double-sided, okay. So we'll pop that in there. This one is kind of nice. I think that there is a lot of kind of vintage pieces here. Um, this heart to me is very like doily or I could see like my grandma decorating with this type of image. So that can go in here. That's the back of that. So those can go in. Um, this is Studio Calico from 2013. And that is maybe not the most vintage that I have from Studio Calico. So I might hold off on putting those in. This is from 2010. Oh my gosh. 2010. It's actually stitched. I don't know if the camera is picking up that this is actually stitched right into the paper. I bought it that way. And it is from Anna Griffin. Yeah, it's Anna Griffin. There we go. Okay, this is vintage. It's going in there. Um, here is some more of that collection. I must have actually purchased the whole kit. So there's probably a sticker sheet somewhere around here too. I think that this came from Winners. Winners occasionally carried collections, simple stories, my mind's eye, things like that. So I think that's where these all come from. So they're all part of the Hugs and Kisses collection. So I'm just gonna grab all of them, all the pieces. Put that all together. And I definitely don't need to scrap Valentine's stuff with these Valentine's papers. Um, so don't worry about that when you're building a kit. These reds and pinks and just sort of, you know, general heart shapes and flowers and stuff, they work for all kinds of different layouts. This is not vintage. I only got that a couple of years ago. This is um, a Simple Stories urography. Do you remember when they did urography and you just got a whole collection of papers to document your year, kind of in a in a project lifestyle. This is from 2011. I think I'll go ahead and pop that in there. I think I probably had it in with my Valentine stuff because of the red. I wasn't really using it for the urography side. Uh, this is Pebbles from 2011. How cute is that? Oh, I love that branding strip. So it can go in. This goes over here, this goes over here, none of that is, that's the crepe paper, I don't remember, I don't remember what that collection was called, but it's not super duper old. Okay, this is also Studio Calico, uh, it was Fancy Pants designed it for Studio Calico in 2013. This to me is kind of vintagey. The color and just the type itself is kind of scrolly. It almost looks like an old love letter that could have been written, you know, during the war or something like that. It's very, kind of that very beautiful feminine handwriting. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw that in here. It does say things like hugs and kisses and I think I saw it even actually, it does say Valentine's Day in February 14. So that's definitely more specific than I was aiming for, but it's very pretty. So I'm gonna put that in there. Now this one, 
I have no idea, but it is the coolest texture. Wow. That feels so cool. Oh, you can see on this side that it is textured. I don't think the camera will pick it up, but it is textured. But I know I was probably meaning to use it on this side. It was not taken out of a paper pad because I don't feel the bumpy edges. I don't know where it came from, you guys. <laughs> but I'm going to throw it in my kit because it's the kind of thing that I think you could make work as a background for just about any layout and it definitely needs to get used. Uh, what have we got here? This is Teresa Collins from 2014. Uh, it's not super, super old. It's in my Valentine stuff because of this side here. It's the daily stories and I know I have other pieces of it. Um, I do really like the color scheme and I think again, like there's the mint and the pink, which to me seems very vintage. Um, even this, this yellow, mustard yellow, you can kind of think of like old kitchens that had these different colors. This is maybe a little bit more pink than, than like the salmon color that people would have had, but I also don't really know what I'm talking about when it comes to design and colors and I totally mix up all of my eras completely. So forgive me if you're just at home shaking your head like, Jen, you don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> um, but I just think maybe this isn't old enough yet because there is a lot of stuff here from like 2011, 2010. Oh, this is from uh, Heart and Hustle. I can already tell because I used that collection um, last month to make a layout. So I can just see that this is a bigger version of one of the six by six papers I had. And obviously I put it with my Valentine stuff because of this side. It says things like, it's a good day to have a good day. You are magic, live for today. Um, and it's just got those hearts, but it's, fairly current, so it's not going in there. Here's another piece of that Studio Calico paper. Oh, there's a whole, hold on. So this is the Beloved Collection. This actually specifically says that it was made for Studio Calico, but the rest of it doesn't. How did I get the whole collection? Or maybe I only have a couple of pieces. So it's interesting that this one, only this specific paper, it looks like, from the Beloved Collection, um, because you can see here, they're the same, but only this specific paper was created for Studio Calico, and I actually have a few of these papers because I always used to get the Black Friday um, like mystery kits, mystery bundles that they would put together of the 12 by 12 papers and uh, the, the Project Life kits that they would put together. So I have a lot of repeats of this particular paper, but I've never noticed before that only this one was created for Studio Calico. And I'm actually wondering, I think I must have got this with Studio Calico too, but it was... Yeah, interesting. I don't know. If you guys know the story of this beloved collection, let me know. But I never noticed that before. I maybe knew it at the time, way back um, when I got this in 2013, but uh, yeah, interesting. Okay, anyways, I kind of like this. I love the red and the pink. I think it can go with the whole vintage theme if we're already going with that kind of stuff. So I will put that one in. This is what's on the back. I forgot to show you. This is also very vintage, so it works as well, these cute little, um, they're almost like, you know, Valentines that you would have gotten, well, maybe even when I was little, but even before that too, just cute little vintage pretty pictures and different little like Valentine sayings, like, had I to choose from all the rest, I'd say that I liked you the best. So, very cute. Okay, so that's gonna go in there then. Um, Yeah, this is just another, one of those papers. Okay, and then this is the last paper that I had in that stack. And I think crepe paper is pretty vintagey to me. A lot of these images are vintagey, even if the actual sort of uh, like icon that they're using isn't vintage. A llama maybe isn't vintage. It's sort of a more trendy current thing. 
Let's see how current this actually is though. Um, 2017 so you know it's not super duper old but I do think crepe paper has that feel um, that vintage feel the pinks and the mints again and this side definitely does too it's just slightly off white it's almost sort of yellowed a little bit and then they always do this type of thing where it's just like the tape stains and that that kind of stuff a little slight touch of distressing here and there even on some of these, it's just slightly yellowed and there's little bits of distressing and stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and throw it in there. I probably, if I'm being honest with you, um, I will probably end up using this side. It's kind of a nice background, but I could see myself maybe cutting some of this apart or, you know, using some of these other images as well. So we'll see how it goes, but I'll go ahead, throw it into my kit. I just pushed it back, so I'm going to, there we go. Throw it into my kit, um, actually on this side, I think. And so I have quite a few papers now and not much as far as embellishments go, but a few things, a few things. And then the other thing I do want to add in here is I think I want to add some six by six papers. So this is from Winners. Um, I don't have the top cover of it anymore but it is uh, Maggie Holmes I think also very kind of distressed and vintagey like look at these plates all of these fun sort of Victorian style plates and or at least that's what I see when I see that um, lots of sort of distressed and aged type papers lots of this kind of stuff which is very vintage to me old tickets and things like that and so and it also has some hearts actually now that I'm looking at it and some black and white some really pretty dainty little flowers so actually I think this is probably a good one. Oh, I love the wood grains so pretty um, yeah so I think this might be a good one to throw in there as well and just kind of have it especially for mad about mini paper pads and just um, to give myself a bunch of little patterns and different things to choose from without adding a ton of extra paper um, so that is gonna go in there too what else I should probably throw a few Valentine's -y things in here even though I obviously this is very highly Valentine's but it that wasn't intentional um, but just things that so I think I want to throw a few extra little embellishments and stuff in there too. Maybe some stickers that I want to try to get used up. So let me pull this out. You guys have seen this a few times. I don't think there's much in the way of vintage specifically. But things like this, I don't know. Maybe I can just pull some of these like hello... I'm thinking of you it's the right colors so I'm gonna pop it in there uh, what else kind of draws my eye well I could put this obviously if we've got some Maggie Holmes in there already let's just do her stickers. Look at this adorable little sticker. My daughter got it and gave it to me. It was supposed to go in last month's kit, but I couldn't find it. So now I've got it right here. It's going to stay right in a little container right there so I don't lose it. Uh, but yeah, there are tons of stickers still left in here. You can tell what I struggle to use, right? The animals just really throw me for a loop. I, I don't always know how to use them, but just the feel the bows really feel very vintagey some of these labels there are actually I think this is an empty page oh yeah there's only one label left but I could maybe use the outside of some of them because they kind of got those colors the old cameras some of these roses and things so yeah I just think it makes sense to throw this in some pages I've used everything and some pages I've used nothing but anyways that's okay okay this is gonna go in as well and 
And is there anything else that sort of speaks to me as far as being vintage? Well, you know, honestly, I'm gonna throw these in. It's been a while since I focused on them and they are 2015, which I know some of this stuff we were going back 2010, 2011, but 2015 is getting there too. Um, so maybe I'll throw my Tim Holtz little words in there. Anything else? This kind of stuff is super vintage to me and I know I have some papers actually. Maybe I should try to hunt them down. I have this beautiful Prima collection. I know I have some papers. I know I have some bits of ephemera for it. Maybe I'll take a quick peek and see if I can find this, but this obviously with Prima is very vintage. Lots of like scroll work. This actually comes out. Um, little tags and the butterflies. Okay, I'll go ahead and put this in here too. This did fit in here, I think, yep. I've got two of them. This, not quite the same, is it? Well, some of these flowers are, and they're kind of in the black and white, but then they just have that extra pop of the holographic kind of foiling on it. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and put it in there too. Why not? It's got the mint, right? And the mint we've been working with a little bit here. It has some hearts, so if I was doing maybe a Valentine's layout, the hearts could work. Okay, you've twisted my arm. I'm putting it in there. Prima definitely gives the vintage feeling, so it works. Um, I wonder, I might just do a quick, I promise it'll be quick, uh, pop through some of this and see if there's anything just really super kind of vintagey that's standing out to me. Like some of this stuff. I think this is Cartabella because it has that textured feeling to it, but look at how beautiful that is. Really, really stunning. Okay, that's very vintage. This as well I find is vintage. And that piece. Um, little valentines -y. I don't know, it's not, well, you know what, let's do it. Let's pull this out. To me, this is sort of vintage. Some of these look a little bit more vintage than others, so I'll throw it in there. I'm, I'm stretching maybe, but that's okay. That is valentines, that is valentines. These cute little birds are valentines. Um... This is kind of fall. Oh, here, this is sort of a vintage feel with the flowers. So we can go with that. This definitely is not. This stuff is very kind of modern and current with the colors. Here is some potentially Maggie Holmes. Oh yeah, I, I'm sure it probably is. Just looking at the, the swans and the flowers. So we'll throw that in there. I like the mustard yellow. That can go in there too. Oh, and this is Valentine's, hey. And actually, I kind of like that. That sort of looks like Victorian wallpaper to me, where they had oftentimes like the really dark colored walls and then a pop of, of some color. Here's some papers that are very pretty. Not vintage, I would say, but we've obviously established now that there is a theme going on. Um, that's sort of been cut into, that's been cut into, let's see here, more Halloween. This is all Halloween. Um... This could maybe, I, it's probably Valentine's because it's got like the hugs and kisses and stuff. Not sure where it's from, that's really pretty. Obviously I don't have to use, and I rarely do use everything I put in my kit, so it's okay if I overstuff it a little bit. I just, 
I'm trying to make sure that I'm not forgetting about all of these papers and that I'm giving myself the opportunity to get them used up. If I passed by something and you're like, wait, Jen, that is vintage completely, just, just let me know in the comments because like I said, I don't always, I, I do what I think feels right, but I'm not always sure sometimes what is vintage and what isn't. Okay, this stuff, these need to come forward. Okay, I think that's probably it. So I'll pop that back in here. I will add all of these papers. Suddenly it seems like it's a whole lot more than I was intending to do, but you could use up several of these on one layout really easily. So it's really not a huge kit. Um, yeah, so I don't feel bad. And if I get a bunch of them used up, then that's the goal anyway, so I'll be very happy with that. So I think this is my kit. Like I said, I do always have my extra little goodies here. Um, I want to add a few bits of Valentine's ephemera just to go with the whole theme of uh, the kind of hearts and Valentine's-y theme. I don't necessarily have to do Valentine's layouts with Valentine's products. But I might as well throw some things in there since I have them. So I did find some of these recently at Walmart. I thought they were really cute. They're wood, um, wood hearts in different colors, but they just have a different shape to them. They were only 98 cents, so I'm gonna throw those in there. And then I might throw a couple of doilies, heart-shaped doilies in there too because Doilies are definitely vintage to me. Um, so let me just grab a few. I, I keep right up here. Again, I know I always say I'm gonna take you guys on a tour and then I haven't, but I have a shelf right here where I keep Christmas, Valentine's, a little bit of Easter, um, and some like fall Halloween stuff here so that if I'm doing anything outside of those sort of times of year where I might be grabbing for that stuff all the time, I don't have to go through my kits and try to find it all. I just have it handy. Um, so we can throw some tags in there. These are metal words that I get at Dollar Tree. I don't know, maybe I'll throw them in see if they get used up. I also love these that I got, I think from Dollarama. They're like a big heart enamel dot, so I'll put those in there. This stuff I throw in because you never know if you wanna do maybe a big large layout with a large wood veneer, but as you can see, I've never even opened up the package. It's just kind of in there in case. Um, this is, I don't know, I didn't love these stickers. I don't know that any of the ones that are left over really kind of stand out to me. Maybe these little arrows. No, and actually some of the, st the stick on these is not very good anymore, so I might just get rid of those. These are kind of modern looking. Um, definitely not what I would consider vintage, so I'll leave those. Same with these, not super vintage. If I decide to do something that's really kind of hyper Valentine's-y, I know where they are, I can just grab for them, but I don't think I'll put them in my kit. I've got this other big large wood veneer that says love that I really thought was a lot of fun too. And the little pack of sequins I think is a good deal. I'm not sure that I would use the little plasticky rhinestones and stars or these rhinestones up here, but those are the type of thing that my nieces love to use, especially my younger niece. So I, I always think these packs are a good deal because you get a lot of different stuff in them and they love to use up a lot of that kind of stuff. And I'm always happy to craft with them. Uh, and then here I have, I think it's mostly, yeah, it's mostly Easter 
bits of wood veneer and little Easter flare and stickers, except for this. This is from Virginia. It says birthday, and I didn't want to lose just the inside pieces of the words, so I've got them up there. So that's all Easter stuff. And then this, and then this last little piece right here. I don't have a ton of Valentine's, um, t Valentine's Day things, but here are those same labels. So maybe I'll just throw those all in there. And then I think these felt hearts might actually be fun to put in there because I do think of felt as something being a little bit more kind of vintagey. So I've got the word love, couple of hearts with the lock, and so I can put a couple of keys in there as well. Uh, maybe I'll put two. Two might be all I have left of this kind of burgundy colored heart. And then I've got some arrows, and I've got these hearts as well that kind of have the lock in them. And this one lone red heart, that might be the only red heart in there. Yep, I keep all my buttons in here too for pride. Um, yeah, I think that's it. These are really, really cute, but I wouldn't say they're vintage. So I'm gonna throw those back in there. Is that everything? I think so. I don't really, like I said, I don't really have that much. Um, kind of Valentine stuff to begin with and then not a lot of it is vintage so I think I will keep it at that I do have some ribbon I don't know if is ribbon just vintage for the sake of it being ribbon because this to me doesn't say vintage ribbon but let me know it's very cute it has the little heart cutouts in it. So again, it stays right up here so I can add it very quickly. Um, let me know if you think this is vintage or not. I, I think it might be a little bit modern just the way that it's the way that it's um, designed and the colors. So I will leave it up there though. I do have this which is really pretty, a really pretty lace. It's self-adhesive. Um, this is all I have of it, so maybe I will throw that in there too. To me, lace obviously is vintage. I'm sure it is to everybody. <laughs> is there anything else I need for this kit? I don't think so. Um, I have letters, alphas, that kind of stuff all sitting beside here too, so I'm not gonna pull any of that out. I think I'm just gonna leave this the way it is. Later on in the month, I will be finishing up some of the page kits that I have here and doing build a page, so creating a couple more kits as well. Um, so I'm gonna pop all that away as my kit, but the one thing I did want to do was maybe, I really enjoyed the idea of pulling out some pictures and having some pictures ready to work with, and so I think I do want to do that. Um, do I want to do vintage pictures or brand new? I feel like vintage is better, don't you think? Let's go way back here somewhere. This is not way back. Let's go way back. Okay. I'm just going to go into here. I'm going to grab... This box seems very empty. I'm gonna grab this box. Yeah, I'm gonna grab that box and let's see what's in it. And I'll just pull out maybe like five pictures. It just gives me a little bit of a head start on figuring out what I wanna do. So these aren't too, too bad. I think they're from 2014. Yeah. Looks like 2014. Fall. Oh, here's some spring, maybe. Twenty fourteen or twenty fifteen. Somewhere in there. I'm just gonna pull some out. So like that immediately is super adorable. <laughs> is it twenty fifteen? So we can do that one. This one's also super cute. The light kind of flared when I took this photo, but I think it's really adorable. 
Um, this was all on the same day, obviously. Oh, this look, this literally says Valentine's right on it. So maybe I will go ahead and pull that out. That one's kind of cute too. That one's cute. It could be together as one. Oh, and this is really adorable. It's my two boys and they are snuggled up in front of the fire. We don't even live in that house anymore. Is that, maybe I'll pull all of that and then I'll pull a Kaylin out. Okay, I didn't even have to think too hard about that. Those are all kind of, oh wait, ah, oh, you guys, look at how cute this is. Adorable. Yep, adorable. So, these are gonna go into my iris container where I have all my stuff that was um, set up for last month. Now I'm gonna take out all the coffee stuff because we're not doing coffee anymore and all of that will have to kind of go back into it, their individual homes. I'm keeping all the Christmas stuff because I'm gonna be working away at that and I'm gonna pop these in there for this month. All right, that is it. I've got my photos, I've got my kit. If you guys have any questions, you can leave them for me down below. I am really enjoying having a theme to help me build each kit every month and I'm going through a lot of my stash. Like even if I'm not pulling it out to use the kit and I'm not showing you everything that I'm going through, I definitely am getting uh, into some stuff that I haven't seen in a while. Um, bits and pieces of my stash where, you know, I know I wanna use it, but I'm sort of not sure when I'm gonna use it. Well, now I'm pulling it out and I'm getting it used up. So this is going to be a fun year and I anticipate a lot of good stuff. <laughs> um, so that is it for me. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I hope you guys are all having a beautiful day. I love you all. Thank you so much for subscribing and supporting me and we will talk to you again soon. So until next time, happy scrapping. Bye. Bye, thanks to me, to Robert, and to my channel.